While there are a variety of different kinds of terrorist groups around the world, the Provisional Irish Republican Army, or also known as the IRA, is one of the most known nationalist terrorist groups in the world. So, what is the IRA and what are their ideologies? Hi and welcome to Secret Data. After the Anglo-Irish War, the treaty was made to divide Ireland into a Catholic Irish Free State and protest in Northern Ireland. Members of the IRA were against this treaty and decided to split away from the original IRA, creating their own resistance movement led by Eamon de Valera, whose descendants became the Provisional Irish Republican Army, or also called the PIRA, in 1969. The IRA are mainly engaged in nationalist terrorism, which is primarily motivated by nationalism. Within the years that the IRA has been around, their attacks have been empowered by the idea of nationalism, an ideology based on assumptions that the country's devotion to the nation state surpassed other groups. Statistically, in between 1969 and 1994, the IRA killed around 1,800 people, including approximately 6,600 civilians. The IRA has three main ideologies. The first one is the Irish Republicanism. This is based on the belief that Ireland should be an independent republic. The second one is Marxism. This is the political and economic theories, which was later developed by their followers to form the basis for the theory and practice communism. The last one is anti-imperialism. This means that they believe any practice which opposes imperialism. The final goal is to see Northern Ireland separate from the United Kingdom. Throughout the years, the IRA caused a variety of problems in the United Kingdom and have ended many lives by their attacks. The IRA set up operations throughout the United Kingdom that delivered threatening messages to the government, advertising propaganda and increasing the number of followers. In the 1970s, the Troubles launched the first bomb in England, which detonated at the Aldershot headquarters of the Parachute Regiment whose soldiers had opened fire and killed 13 nationalist protesters in London Londonderry. On February 1974, the most horrific bombing began by the IRA, what they call the M62 coach bombing. An IRA unit planted a bomb on a coach carrying servicemen and their families, killing 11 people. In November 1974, the IRA carried out one of its most devastating attacks when 21 people were killed in another pope bombing in Birmingham. The IRA has been quite successful lately, killing more than 2,000 British soldiers in attacks in the last six months. The largest single strike came on Saturday when IRA bomb killed eight British soldiers and wounded 28 as they returned to the barracks 55 miles west of Belfast in unmarked bus. The resolutions of the IRA were very complex and interesting. One of the resolutions to their problems is the relation they have with the British government. For example, one of the IRA in the 1990s was able to be involved in politics in the peace talk that the British and the Irish government were trying to do by talking about Catholicism in a good way and that way the IRA had now a way to be involved in the government. In 1973, 98.9% of the Irish civilians voted to stay within the United Kingdom, meaning that majority of the Irish community want to remain a part of the UK. However, at the same time, a significant portion of the Northern Irish community want to become a separate piece of the United Kingdom. If you're interested in learning more about the IRA and conflict, check out the links down below. These were your hosts, Danny Mora and Adriana Costa, and this is Secret Daily.